A few months ago, I made a video explaining what Taskade is and going over some of its main functionalities. Since then, the developers at Taskade have released a lot of new features, particularly some that leverage AI to help manage projects and tasks more efficiently. These new functionalities have made Taskade a very powerful productivity and generative AI tool that I think can really help improve your workflow and overall make you more productive. Now, I realize these may be very generic statements, so in this video, I'll go over the main functionalities of Taskade again so that you can determine whether this application can be beneficial to you. With that said, let's get started. So if you had asked me about Taskade at the beginning of the year, I would have said that it is great for small teams or individual users looking to improve their project and task management um, workflows through an application. And Taskade is still great at doing all of those things, but because of all the AI features that have been introduced um, in the past few months, I feel almost enticed to also recommend it as an, as an AI platform, even if you don't use it um, for task or project management, if you want to interact with AI um, and kind of add AI into different parts of your workflow, I think Taskade is great for that. And as I'll go through the main functionality, so this tool, hopefully you can see that as well. So let's start by looking at Taskade's UI, which follows a very simple hierarchy of workspaces here on the left side. So it is recommended that, for example, if you are somebody that works with different clients or different customers, then you'll create a workspace for each of those companies or clients. Within your workspaces, you then have folders. As you can see here, I have three folders. And within those folders, then you can create your projects. And within your projects, then this is where you can start adding your tasks, your paragraphs, um, or any other entity available within Taskade. So that's kind of the, hi the hierarchy that you follow here. It's work workspaces, folders, projects, and within projects, then you have your tasks. So let's create a project and add some tasks to it. As an example, I can create here a blank project, or I can head up here to the new project button, and I can browse templates where Taskade will provide different categories. So for example, let's say you are in marketing. I can click here the marketing section and I can see here the different templates that I have available. So let's say that I am creating a marketing plan. I'll select this one. And I'll see here the kind of plan content. And if I want to, I can start with this template. I can add it to my project. But for now, let's go back to this tab and start with a blank project. Let's give this a title. And let's add tasks to it. So once you add a task, you can add here a due date to each task. So let's say. This is due on the 19th. I can also assign it to somebody if I am collaborating with other team members in Taskade. There it is. And what's actually very powerful as far as project management goes within Taskade is that each project you can view in different formats. So as you can see right now, it's the default view or list view. I can then have the Kanban board view. I also have a calendar view where I can see which tasks have a due date and when they are due. I also have a table view where I can create different columns if needed and track my tasks and project this way. I also have a mind map view, which is great for brainstorming. Organizational, organizational chart view, which is kind of the mind map view or in a vertical format. And then also a Gantt chart um, view if you like tracking projects this way. But I tend to work here on the list view, and this is how you would create projects and how you add tasks to your different projects. Another great feature that makes Taskade a very good tool for small teams that collaborate a lot with each other is this chat functionality. So as you can see here, if I do have a team, I have a team chat within each project that I can chat um, with other members with. 
So let's say I need to send a message. Here people can reply to it. I can edit my message, delete it. I can upload files. I can um, add emojis, tag other team members if necessary. I can start screen sharing. I can share audio files. And if I need to, I can even start a call with my team directly from here. And I can share my screen um, on Taskit, which is great. I really like this functionality. That way you don't need to rely on Microsoft Teams or Google Meets or any other kind of third-party application to communicate with your team members. Next, let's take a look at probably the functionality that makes Taskit such a unique uh, application, and that is the ability to create AI agents. AI agents you can think of as virtual employees that help you automate or accomplish tasks um, within your projects in a more efficient manner, obviously using AI. By the way, I know I'm going through these functionalities kind of quickly. I kind of want to touch from a general perspective on all the functionalities available within Taskade. But of course, I have other videos on my channel going deeper into each functionality and I can make more videos um, if necessary. But probably the best thing for you to do is to try Taskade. So feel free to do so using the link below in the description. Uh, but for now, let's keep going and look at AI agents. So to create an AI agent, simply head to any of the folders here in your workspace and go to the AI agents tab and click on create agent. Now you can create an agent using an AI prompt. You can create one from scratch where it'll take you step by step on how to create an agent, or you can pick from the templates already here provided um, for agents in Taskit. In this case, I'm going to choose a template or a script writer. So I'm going to click create agent. Here I see that it gives you an avatar. It gives the agent a name. It gives it the general instructions of what we want this agent to be an expert on. Then if I head on over here in the knowledge section, I can enable knowledge. And this is where you can train your AI agents on specific data or information. So I can add documents. I can add specific projects, projects here from Taskade. I can also add links and YouTube videos uh, and all of those would be used to train the agent. Here I can customize the commands for this specific agent. In this case, I don't want the agent to do anything else but to write full scripts. And once I'm happy with all the settings, I can click update. And of course, you can always come back and edit this if you need to. So how do you interact with AI agents? There are different ways you can interact with your agents. One is to simply select it and chat with them and ask them any questions. And of course, they'll use their knowledge that you have configured before to answer um, you. So I can ask, what is the best way to write a video script? And ChatGPT will use um, GPT-40, as you can see here and it will answer your question, of course, using AI. Another way to use the agent is inside a project. So let's say I have a project here on German Shepherds where I have pulled some information and I wanna write a video script on this specific uh, project. So as you can see here, the script writer agent knows to use this project, the German Shepherd, German Shepherd project, uh, for context, and I can ask it to write a video script on everything you need to know about German Shepherds. So let's see what it comes up with. It should use whatever information it already has here to create a video script for us. So another way to interact with AI agents is using the functionality of AI teams. So let's say now that I have another AI agent that I've created in this time, in this case, it's a researcher. Then I can head on over here to AI teams. I'm going to go ahead and create a team. I'm going to name it test team. I'm going to add the researcher agent and the script writer. I'm going to create 
and this time I can chat with both the researcher and the script writer at the same time. And I can choose who do I want to answer my, my prompts. So Otto will let Taskade pick um, either the researcher or the script writer based on context on who would answer my prompt. I can select a specific agent or I can do a kind of like a round table where I'm asking the researcher and the script writer both to answer. So let's say I say research everything you need to know to train a dog. As you can see, Taskade recognized to delegate this specific task to the researcher. And it's going to come up with some answers. And now that I have the answers, I can ask to write a video script on this information. And it should know to delegate this to a script writer. And it's going to write a script on the information that the previous researcher agent just provided. So a very cool functionality where you can interact and kind of delegate um, tasks or prompts to specific agents in your team. So another way you can interact with AI agents is inside a project. Let's say you have a list of tasks or different topics that you want to write video scripts on. If you hit the slash button, you'll see here that I can access the researcher agent commands and the script writer command to write full scripts. If I select this, then it will tell the script writer to go ahead and write a script on that. And I don't even have to wait for that to finish. I can click out of that and go into the next uh, topic, do the same. And once it's done, I can click on it and review the results. And I can either insert it, copy it, or move it to another project um, if I need to. So the last functionality that I want to touch on, and it's one that really brings in everything together and makes Taskade such a powerful tool, are automations. So this module can be used to automate different workflows within Taskade, and you can even integrate with third party applications. So for example, let's say that, you know, you want to add a task every time you get an email in your Gmail inbox from a specific email address, you can do that here. You would add a task and you can select which project you want the task to be added to. Um, and you can create or automate this type of workflow. But to show you a, an example that we can see right now, Let's say that every time I complete a task from the project title um, project that we were just looking at, um, the blog doesn't really matter, then I want to run agent command and I want to ask the script writer to write a full video script. The input is going to be the task content. And once it's done, then I want to create a project. The title of the project is going to be the task content and the content of the project is going to be the agent command result. So I know I'm going through this very quickly, but what I'm doing here is every time I complete a task in the project title a project, and I'm going to ask the script writer agent to write a script on the task content on, or based on the task content that I just completed. And I'm asking it to create a brand new project with the result. So let's go ahead and save the changes. Let's turn this automation on. Let's go back here. Let's go to the project. Let's go to project title. Let me add here another topic. Let me refresh. We can open another tab. Go back to the testing folder, project title. Let's say here, how to make your dog listen to you. Okay. So if my automation is working, if I go ahead and complete this task, that should trigger the automation. The script write writer agent should be writing a script on this particular topic. I should see a new project here in the testing folder. There it is. And I should see the results of the script writer agent. So a very simple automation, but you can already start seeing 
how powerful some of these um, things can be if you are able to come up with more complex workflows or things to um, well speed up um, your processes or the way you work then this can be really handy so there you have it that those are the main functionalities of Taskade. Um, as you saw in the video, Taskade can be a very powerful project management and task management application, but it really is leveraging the power of AI by allowing you to create AI agents, which you can train with specific knowledge from different sources, including the, the internet, YouTube videos, projects within Taskade or media that you may have. Um, then these AI agents can be part of AI teams, which you can interact with and have um, these teams complete different tasks for you. And this all kind of comes together with, I think, AI agents and automations being the most powerful features within Taskade, where you can integrate third-party apps to bring in, for example, every time you get an email from a specific sender, you can create a task or a project in the platform or every time you complete or assign a task to somebody in Taskade, you can have the automation trigger certain things and even send emails out for you. Or I've seen it where you can even um, have Taskade post directly to your WordPress blog. Um, so yeah, something very cool, very powerful things that you can do with automations and AI agents, um, of course, using Taskade. I do encourage you to use um, Taskade. There is a free version that you can download and start playing with right now. I'll have the link for that in the description. And of course, check the channel out for more videos on functionalities related to this platform. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on this and I'll see you on the next one.